Hi all, I will walk you over recipe assignment 4 uh, on weather service application and GIT repository. In this assignment, we will learn how to create an app that uses a destination to access a RESTful service. It also covers deploying the app to the GIT repository and app versioning. Okay, uh, before we can do anything, we have to get an API key in order to open weather map. So I have to get this URL from page number four of the assignment and then I have to come here. For you guys, you have to set up an account. Since I have already signed up for an account, I will use my account. For you, you cannot sign in. You just have to sign up, create an account, okay? Okay, so here put in username, email, full name and I save and then for API keys click on here and just you can whatever the default key is you can just delete it okay and then create a new key and to create a new key you just have to do your first name and then api and then you ask to generate okay and so this is the key that has been generated for you and copy and paste this key in your word document and this is your first screenshot so your first screenshot is on the api key that you have created okay Next, you have to log in to uh, HANA Cloud Platform Cockpit uh, to create the application. So, in order to do that, so we have to go to the cockpit, log in. go to destination. So I will be creating a new destination. I practiced it before. So I had one already created and I removed that. For you, you just come here and then click on new destination. Okay. So click on new destination and then for name you put in open weather. This is HTTP and then uh, for URL, take the URL from your assignment. So copy and paste the URL from your assignment. Here. And then you have to save it. Okay. After that, you need to go to Babe IDI, so you have to go to the service and from the service I have to choose SAP Web IDI. Okay. Then open it. I would be creating a SAP UI5 application. Okay. So in order to do that, I need to go to home new project from template ui5 application this innovation a recommended version is fine then i go to next here the project name is uh, your name underscore weather same here for namespace okay go to next Actually, just you can finish, okay? So, finish. So, at this point, your project is created and then I have to deploy the project. So, I will go here, deploy and I have to deploy using SAP HANA Cloud Platform, okay? And I will click, I have to log in and I have to just deploy and it would give me
Okay, since I tried it before, it says that I already have it. For you, you just deploy a new application. I'm updating the existing application, okay? An applicant name is this, and I will just deploy the existing application. But you do the new application. Remember, you have to do the new application. Okay, now I have to click on the second link over here in order to run it, but I come here. Okay, so at this point, take a screenshot of this and paste it to your Word document, and this is going to be your second screenshot. Okay, now I have to update the application. In order to update the application, I have to go to SAP Web IDI again, close this, come to workspace, click on this, and from here, I have to click on Web App, and then I take the view, view XML file. Here, I have to do a little bit of coding. Uh, just follow the instructions. A uh, little bit of coding here and there will let us get to the application development, okay? So, here, after the caret, I will type in st, and then I will press control bar together, and I choose standard type. Okay, now I do not need so many uh, attributes. These are all attributes. If you look at it, ID and title and info and icon, I don't need so many attributes. I will pick and choose the attributes as in page number uh, 11. Okay, so I go to page number 11 of the assignment. So you see, I will just keep ID, title, info, icon. So ID, title, info, icon. I don't need active icon. Number. Okay. Number unit, press. So number, number unit. I don't need all of these. Just press. Okay. Also, I do not need these three. Okay. So, after that, I need to put in some data binding. In order to do that, within these two, I will put in ID. Then, for info, no, sorry, for title, I have to put in within curly bracket name. For info, I will copy and paste, okay? So, for info, I have to put in this. This is, I'm just binding. For icon, for number, number unit is Celsius. Okay, let me check. Um, I don't need this.
okay in front of the content i need a carrot here okay and then i save it now i will run the application Okay, so after this fixing, just run the application, choose the index file HTML from here, say okay. Okay, at this point, you will see that it does not let you have any data. This is because we have not provided any data source yet okay so we have to move on and then we will open the view one controller js file so from here we'll go back here and then open from the controller the view one controller js file and we have to add some code here too so add this one the highlighted one and add this after controller so here okay and then further after controller common comma we need to add json mod model Okay, and after that, we just save it. Okay. Then another few items we need to add here. And that we add after return okay so after the return line so come here after the return line we add that okay here in your your id i have to replace that with the api key that i have from here so if you haven't saved this tab you have a screenshot in your what document so take it from there so i'll go back and i'll put that api key here and after that i will save my file okay then the last one I need to do is open the new app JSON file and then I need to add this code below routes. So here, okay, and then I save my file okay so I go back to my application I run it using index HTML and you will get because Singapore was in the code okay when we
in the view controller you will see that we have added we have code in singapore so it pulls up singapore's weather so take a screenshot and paste it in your word document which will be your uh, screenshot number three but at this point please note that there is some problem here 300 degrees celsius water boils at 100 degrees celsius so 300 is too much for so there is a actually a problem with the unit of measurement this is showing you 300 in kelvin actually it's not in celsius so we have to code it to fix it so let's go back then and we have to do some formatting so in order to do the formatting i have to open the view file again okay it's here and then uh, in order to fix it to change it to celsius i have to take it copy and put it in icon so i come here i replace the icon okay and i put that code over here and then i save it in the controller js file similarly i have to add a code um, after i insert a comma after the online only function so here i believe no here i add a comma here when the function ends okay and then i have to copy the code which is given here in order for it to reflect celsius properly this is the code to change kelvin to celsius okay so you see the math is given here so i come here and then i add that code okay and then i just save my file now you run your application again so i come here i run run the index html and now it will, you will see it will show you the right temperature sorry go back to view one page and we need to remove this number from here okay sorry about that just remove this number from here and then i think we are good and save it and then i come back here run it i did the number twice so that was the problem okay so now i have uh, in celsius actually in singapore and this would be your screenshot number four okay and paste it in your word document okay so this is for singapore but i want to add a search field where i can find out uh, any city that i would like to find out okay so then again i have to fix something in the uh, view file so copy this code okay I'm just trying to put in a search field now. Okay. So just copy this code and in the view file. Okay. Just before the content, add that. Okay. Then after the content,
delete and put this. So I have a standard tile, remove the content, okay, panel. Sorry, standard tile, then content. No, you don't need to remove the content. Panel content. Let's see. If there is any problem here. So, after content, After page title, I have the panel. There is a content here, okay? Okay, then panel. And after the toolbar, I have a content standard tile and then finish the standard tile, then content panel, content again. Okay, so this is my save this. Now I have to make a little bit of change in the view one controller file. Here, the same thing, I'm just making changes everywhere to add the city, okay? So I will copy this code and I will paste it. after PNG, okay? So, comma and then the code. Here, your ID is to be replaced with the API key. Then save it, okay. Now run the application. So I go here, I run the application. Type in the city, I type in Beaumont. Enter, then click on here and it changes to Beaumont, 34 degrees Celsius, light rain, okay? So take a screenshot of this and paste it to your Word document. This is your Screenshot number five. Okay. Now deploy the application to HCP again. So now come here, Web IDI, and then right click, deploy, deploy to SAP HANA Cloud Platform. Okay. Here, I'm updating an existing application. You will be updating an existing application too. Okay, so go to the second page. Click on versioning. Click on the versions below history. You will see that the latest version is active and all the other versions were created before. Okay, so this take a screenshot of this. You will not have that many versions. You will have three, I believe. I have this many because I practiced it before. So take a screenshot of this and then paste it in a Word document and this is your last screenshot and we are done with this assignment. So here 
you prepared a weather app okay which will let you type in any city and you can see the temperature of that city and the weather condition on that particular day okay thank you